Good afternoon, class. We're group number eight, and we're here to present our stalker robber. The team members are Maria, Cesar, and myself, Oscar. Cesar. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start first with the division of responsibilities. As you can see, we divided our tasks in three main fields. We have the robot programming, the PowerPoint presentation, and the robot assembly. The robot, ass the, the robot programming was done basically by Cesar and Maria, since Maria has a lot of background in, in programming. The PowerPoint presentation and the robot design were done by the three of us. Now the problem statement. Uh, when we first thought about this project, we came out with three main problems. First, we had to do the robot to dif differentiate and to follow a closer object and that it doesn't follow the object that is not desired. Also, at the same time it's following that object, it has to be able to avoid other obstacles. And, f and also, it, it has to stop to check uh, where the other object is going and to regulate the speed uh, uh, which is going to move. Our motivation for this project was, first of all, all the, the, the material that we learn in robotics and also in mechatronics. And I don't know if you guys know, this, this project is like the backbone of, the, of one senior project that is now being done. And also it could work as a spy robot, and as I said before, is there the, the backbone or the senior presentation. Now, Maria. Or okay. I'm going to talk about the conceptual design. Uh, at the beginning, we start with a very big robot. It was like four times this one, but it didn't work since uh, because it has uh, it was too much area to cover for the just two sensors and one ultrasonic sensor. So we decided to reduce the size so it can work better. Uh, we also thought on using a nylon sensor activation system. Uh, the idea was to put like a ni nylon cord and put a very uh, sensitive sen touch sensors. So when the cord moves, then the sensor will be activated. But then it will be like an obstacle for other people crossing or it will be like not wireless, so it wasn't a very good idea. So we decided to go with this, this project. The main parts, or the more important parts, are the motor, which is just here. The wheels to move, because we are using one motor to move two wheels, so we use the wheels so that with just one motor, we can have like control of the two wheels on each side. Then uh, we have the servo to control the movement of the ultrasonic sensor and the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, as a whole, we have the battery, the multipurpose wheel, so it can move in two directions, the touch sensors, the bearings, the chassis, just that's like the whole design. We did a uh, SolidWorks assembling, but it just got erased from the computer lab, so we only could have this picture that was like the bottom one to explain better the thing about the servos and all the motor and the wheels. Now Cesar will talk about the cost analysis and the... Okay, now this is pretty much what we uh, spent in our robot, the, the, cost of, the cost of each part. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but the main ones are the microcontroller, the batteries, the set of wheels, and right there the sensors, and the ultrasonic sensor. Now the construction. It based in three main parts. The bottom part, the middle part, and the top one. Inside the frame is the first one where it got the two motors and the set of gears that control the wheels. Then the outside frame, which is this one right here, that get the wheels, two set of wheels, two types of wheels, and the touch sensors to avoid obstacles. Then the first floor, which is this one right here, that gets the microcontroller and the battery at the back, and the second floor that gets this servo and the, that controls the ultrasonic sensor also. Then this is how the program works. Uh, first, this is uh, another type of a robot, this is a BEX, and use the a basic C, it's called the programmer. So uh, we got familiar to it, it's not hard to use. It's pretty much like C++, but a little bit easy, because it has some icons that, you know, uh, some icons that cut, 
the program and it's already uh, like it ready it, it's already specified what you want uh, to do with the with the robot uh, what the robot uh, do it basically goes forward then the this servo right here is going to move 180 degrees looks uh, it will look for the closer object okay and then it will go and approximate that o that object. Uh, the object could be in the left, in the front, or in the right. It could go to either either those three positions. As a conclusion, uh, well, it was a very nice experience because we're using this as our uh, design project. So as a prototype, we take advantage of knowing how to use the ultrasonic sensor. We are now uh, testing how to work with two ultrasonic sensors, one that sends the signal and the other one that, that receives the signals to identify objects. So at the time we try you know, to follow uh, a specific object, it won't lose the, the path. And we apply the robotics knowledge, the mechatronics luggage, which are the classes that we're taking this semester. Uh, and it was pretty fun. Also, final or finally, we uh, take advantage of this robot, and we're gonna see in the next video what this robot is gonna come with. That's an idea of how can we apply really. This is, this is this what the robot. main idea is gonna be. This is just like the it's idea of using the the robot as a luggage. It's the come as you can see. It's gonna be the same frame right here. It's gonna be different frame, but the same pieces. These two are gonna be the ultrasonic sensors, the motors, the microcontroller, which are we using right here. The same batteries, the same type of wheels, but the only thing that is different is the chassis. So we took advantage of this class to. You know, get better and better and better in our design project. If you have any questions, guys.